Welcome to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. Today, we're talking about President Joe Biden is out. Vice President Kamala Harris is in. It's 12-year-old in Tennessee smothers her 8-year-old cousin mm -hmm. and goes back to sleep. Also, the death of Sonia Massey. Also, we're going to be talking about relationships. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. And y'all, you are watching the fastest growing visual podcast <laughs> in the Y'all oh, give it up for my lovely, lovely co-host Angelica hey, Jelly Wood. Hey, look, at her, look at that poor smile on her face. Yeah. yeah. Give it up for a co -jack. I'm surrounded by germs. I feel like I'm just like I'm nervous over here. I'm nervous. Wow. Two wow. germ, two wow. germ heads. She was, she was, she was a walking. Uh, spectacle of bacteria two weeks ago. Lies, and she's over here good bacteria, the kind that's good that you need to yeah, go. The yep, good, good bacteria. for your gut, right? Mm. Yep. <laughs> right. DJ Kojak in the building. Yeah, DJ Kojak, yeah, yeah, scratch yeah. it up for him four mm. times, Kojak. Bam, 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 bam. Mm. Yeah. How about that, man? Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? Mm. Them germs <laughs> flying off the thing. Man, look, look at Angelica. Angelica is the germaphobe when it's convenient. Yeah, I, I right, am. the convenient germaphobe. Especially when I'm boxed in in between y'all. What am I supposed to do? Right. One in front of me spinning, and the other one over there slipping in. Mm, mm, yeah, mm, you know, I, I'll admit, you know, my sinuses have been giving me challenges, right? Yes. But I got it from Angelica. He alive. Yeah. She was the first one. She what? was the first one. Now I was right. Nichelle to be turning this camera. I was not sick. Nothing I had was contagious. Of course, I had... just like there's no vodka in your cup. There is no vodka. It's right. Red Bull. Yeah, right. It's all empty. I'm I'm dog tired. It's Red Bull. They're right. going to be drinking so bad. Mm. Mm. DJ Kojak. What it do? What it yeah, do? Yeah, first it was do? Rico, then it was Angelica, then it was me. And then it was me. Right. And, Rico, and you're real late to the party. That was three months ago. I'm on the tail end. Yeah. She was talking about Rico. Remember, too? She was yeah. saying that. She yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. got to scoot over. And, scoot over. Yeah. yeah. And, then she, and, yeah. and I didn't get sick. Yeah. I went to Iowa when I came back oh, in the air. It was, just, it was just off. I'm serious. And I went to the doctor. They self-diagnosed. Why did you go to the doctor? Because I wanted to make sure I was respectable and not being around other people. Not if I, Just in case so, I was contagious. Just like Kojak. Well, contagious he from what? I don't know. I didn't know. I can't. I'm not like you. I'm not going to self-diagnose at home. Right. So there was something Google, going on. Google. Yeah, I had yeah. like I couldn't. I had like a cough, a lingering cough for over 30 days. That was oh, a bad okay. sign. Okay, I thought you weren't sick though. Kojak, didn't that what she just no, said? No, I said contagious thing. Contagious <laughs> thing. This is exactly why we need a Kamala Harris to run for president. Contagious yes. Yes. Oh, yes. my God, we're not. Are y'all saying that really? Yeah, make sure y'all could. prosecutor. Yes. Right, no. she'll ask the hard questions, right, and get the truth out. No. <laughs> right, right. I was not contagious, and I would be considerable, not be considerate and be around other people sick. Like, Kojak, he keeps sitting there with COVID. He don't know. He over talking about some black seeds. He black here, seed oil. Okay, he ain't with no doctor. Co uh, Ferguson, <laughs> he lying, because he swear he don't been to doctor every the other day. Man, so, I done been to the doctor three or four times. See, I was just trying to be nice. That's what you're supposed to do if you feel like you're sick. I was taking after you since you, when you got sick, you went mm -hmm. to the doctor, but you claim you wasn't nah, sick. Now he lying. He said yeah. he went before me, but okay. We're going to run around that tape when I was sick mm -hmm. at that time, too. Okay, I, I dare you to find that tape. You ain't, I ain't going to find it because you, you hold it. You ain't going to clip that part. Right. Right. So, so ain't exactly. nobody sitting around here but Angelica Kojak. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Right, and I tried to give her some. Heavy. I tried to give her some natural remedies yeah. for her sinuses today, but yeah. she didn't want to follow instruction. Right? Yeah. He told me to hang upside down from the uh, bed. He said, <laughs> "You do that drain. anyway." It was going to train, <laughs> and my sinuses were going to train. Okay, I'll pass. No, that's he what said, he, he said. He said, "Look at the ceiling." Yeah, yeah. And everybody yeah. do it. Yeah. Take, oh. a, take a deep oh, breath. Hold oh, your nose. Hold your nose. Lean your head back. Don't I sound better? Don't I sound better? And he don't went to the doctor. Okay. You know, you know. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, I went to the doctor, and well, it wasn't COVID. Mm -hmm. I've been tested three times for COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's just you know whatever. You know, I, here's here's something interesting. Never dealt with allergies until I came to Memphis. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it for me. Yeah. Me Kojak, too. Kojak. Me See, too. here I am trying to have my own. Yeah, again, they Kojak. have asthma and allergies mixed. They gave me inhaler. I got a buterol. I what was on steroids. 
contagiously sick. Albuterol is like a... Uh, yeah, I know. I had it. Yeah. When I, yeah, like a steroid and all this other stuff. So, no, it was not contagious. They can okay. get it when you okay. got COVID. My, my, my stuff wasn't Buterol. contagious either. Oh, and it hell Yep. Yeah. Try to build your lungs mm-hmm. back up. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. So, so y'all, now that y'all finished with your six soliloquies, Mm-mm. yeah, yeah. It. So, uh, <laughs> President Joe Biden dropped out of the race. He's out. Any thoughts on that? Mm-hmm. I think he just knew he was. T- he probably knew that yeah. he was tired, and he didn't make a selfish decision that he knew he could not, you know, be the pre- he could not show up and be the president he needed to be in the state that he was in. That's what I think. Health. He put his health first. Okay, Coach. Yeah. I, I don't think much, old. You know, I mean, that was big for him to go ahead and drop out because, you know, uh, he got a lot of issues. Oh, yeah, I see that. He got yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, issues. Yeah. So, uh, hey, it is what it is. He's out. Yeah. She's in. Possibly. Because, you know, there's still they vote the already? process. No, there's still a process oh, man. of the Democratic National Convention Come on, where man. she has to actually become officially the nominee. Okay, so what do you do? They have to suggest somebody else then? They can they can. They can nominate someone else, you know, mm. and there could be a challenge to her nomination, uh, okay, to her so being you... nominated. She's not even officially nominated yet. Right. She's endorsed by President Joe Biden. Mm. But, it got them coins to back it, okay? But she, she's stepping on the gas, yes. and, you know, as if she's going to be the actual nominee. Which, I mean, and, she and done broke a record. Case. She done broke a record already. Yeah, and what was that record? She broke a record. She raised $88 million. Dollars. How much? Eighty-eight million. Not eighty-eight thousand. I'll take eighty-eight thousand. Eight thousand. And twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. They dropped. But y'all know it just came in breaking news that Reed Hastings, the founder of Netflix, gave her seven million. Oh, that's, just that's added what, seven million dollars. What, what but, do you think so about seven more? Seven what, more on that eighty-eight you, million. Oh, yeah, you think about though what what Elon Musk is doing for Trump? Forty-five oh, yeah. million per month. Jeez. Forty-five okay. million a month. Mm. Well, what is Trump doing for him? That's what I want to know. Right, right, Exa- right. Exactly. But I have a question for you, Parkinson. So with, you know, since you have the background, you know, the political background, oh. even though you say you're not a politician. I am not. Um, so whatever. So uh, Harris, the potential, I would say the potential president of the United States, do you think she has to have a male running mate to win? If they endorse her or whatever, they give her the vote. I don't know what the language is. Do you think they have to? He has. She has to have a white male to have a chance. I think it. I think it would make it um, more palatable okay. for mm-hmm. for uh, citizens in the U.S. Mm-hmm. if there was a white male tied to the ticket. Make them more comfortable, right? And um, <laughs> I think that you know, if she had a white female, it would make men or other people possibly. Uncomfortable to have an all female ticket. I wouldn't be uncomfortable. What about Michelle but, Obama? People was like, bring Michelle Obama. I said, Michelle they, they, Obama, they. she had great numbers against uh, mm. Donald Trump, 11 points ahead. And based on, you know, the polling for Michelle Obama, she was the, the one person that had that had Trump beaten hands down based on polling. Wow. But here, here's the other thing, too. Two black you know, women. there was the possibility of uh, uh, an African American male like Senator Warnock mm-hmm. being her running mate. Mm. And, you know, I, I think that would make some uncomfortable. It wouldn't make me uncomfortable, mm-hmm. but I think some would be uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Right. And, um, and you know, and um, of course, uh, the idea of uh, an, another African American woman, you know, was a possibility. And I think that would make some uncomfortable also. Mm-hmm. It would not make me uncomfortable, but you it would make some more, uncomfortable. You said that one more time. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, he is right. not uncomfortable if so we do. It would okay. make history. It, it would make yeah, history. Yeah. Right. So so but and then but then you know the the main thing is what what's the how do how do you win? Mm. Right? How do you there's a couple a things that has to have to happen. A <laughs> couple things have to happen. One is, you know, you 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 have to excite the base, right? You have mm. to excite Democrats. Uh, I think Democrats had started getting becoming unexcited about the the race, right? And yeah. and, and and you know, and that would have been a sure way for for you know former mm-hmm. President Donald Trump to walk into office because you know Democrats weren't excited and weren't showing up at the polls to vote, right? And so you know, just right. the the prospect when that uh, when that information came out yes. with President Biden stepping down from the yes. from the reelection. And, and endorsing Vice President Harris, it excited 
Democrats. And now a lot of people talking. who anybody yeah. people are just excited about the thought of it, excited to be against it, excited about the conversation. Everybody's excited, excited to be against it. Yeah, some people are. The whole thing is I'm with her. There's some people who are saying I ain't with her on there. It's just a good conversation online, yeah. and people are just just generally excited about it. My it question is, if they're not with her, who are they with? You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. I want to say this. Uh, you know, I, you know, there are a lot of people in my timeline that's going to be removed after uh, after this. Do, like you, do you do you take your politics that serious that you will remove them from your timeline? Um, from Iowa, yeah, because I feel like there are a lot of hidden races there. So yeah, and yeah. they and they be real bold. They be real bold. They be real bold around this time. So let me go ahead and uh, remove you. And, yeah. You know. You know what's interesting is you know even even after the viral tweet last week right and getting all of those those people in my inbox and this that and other mm-hmm. some of them I had conversations with right and some of them oh. some of them I, uh you know they 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 got a little just a little light trolling from me mm. right uh, you know but but mm-hmm. I'm I'm always open to conversation with anyone about their positions right and 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 and, and here's the crazy part is you know, I I can respect your position if you're honest about it. Mm. If true. you're honest about it, right? Yeah. And 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 and, um, you know, I can respect the fact that you have a position. Let me rephrase yeah. that. And and um, I can also, um, you know, you know, I'm okay with other people having differing opinions, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 but you know, some of them, as as ridiculous as they may seem. I'm still okay with you having having a difference of opinion, mm. and I think that's what we have to we have to get back to to you know is, is allowing people to have a difference in a, of opinion. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to agree, yeah. right? Right? You know, but so so I don't I don't tend to delete them unless they're unless they get personal and unless they it's a respect thing yeah too. unless they're disrespectful, mm-hmm. right? Some but, some of them Trump some of those. MAGA cult folks were just outright disrespected. I look at this why I said from Iowa is because you know it's prominently it's prominently white. So these people I was raised with, you you play in my face and act like you're okay with things. But as soon as you get somebody, you know how like you get in a fight and they don't really get they don't really get buck or get whatever until somebody around there that can that can guard them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, you should have yeah. kept that same energy if you wasn't right. raised, if you yeah. was against this, or yeah. just because Trump finally want to show his face, you want to show your face. Yeah, and you I've been out. I've yeah, been yeah, going, yeah. I've been knowing you since elementary school. Okay. Right. Cool. Boop. That's what I'm saying. Nothing yeah. like I don't care what you think. It's just the relationship part. It's like that's how you feel. Like th- yeah. he gave a lot of people balls. That oh, had, oh no, that's almost very like pretty. liquor. He gave they gave him it's like liquor courage. It's like that's yeah. been you. Yeah. So when I see you for who you are, I just see you. Or game. Yeah. I, I see it like a game. Yeah. So I you just know see you got him. enough. If he got enough enough bagging, exactly. then the person to step up and talk a lot of mess. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Trump they bagging. So let me just let you say. Yeah. What you give you perk like? Yeah, you? yeah. I'm just trying to understand where Kojak was coming from. <laughs> like a cult. Like yeah. we, we said, cult. Yeah. He ain't by a himself. gang. Ain't you by know, himself. you got just just like even some of the gang members. They 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 they, they can't fight, but they they got they ten limbs. Oh, so they got that liquid courage. They got that yeah. courage yeah. Yeah. when they got all they the boys around. Yeah, yeah, they by right. themselves. Now they by themselves. Oh no, I have black, I have black yourself. friends. Like I have black kids. Yeah, right. Now the Trump, one. yeah, the thank you. But when Trump do something, it's just like y'all told. That's I'm just saying personally from me. Everybody can have a difference, but just who it is. And it just makes me look at them differently because like, I was raised with y'all. That's what I'm saying. Like the one guy, he said, y'all lucky y'all didn't kill him. The white uh, guy said, y'all lucky y'all didn't kill him. And, you know, you know, and, and he it, just left it there. Like, you know, you know, it's interesting because, y'all them, yeah, it would have been on. There, there is more talk about civil war. Mm. You know, and, you know, there was a, yes, a yes. state representative, a state senator. I forgot from which state mm-hmm. that was talking about, you know, uh, things are going to change, even if it takes civil war, mm. and and no, you know, and and hopefully it doesn't take civil war. But if it mm. does, some some I'm paraphrasing. But the fact that you know uh, nobody, and and hopefully somebody is paying attention mm. to what these individuals are saying. You know, it seemed like they would get a visit. Yeah, you know, from from FBI or from CIA seems, or somebody seems. seemed like they would. But mm. just as the Secret Service. They say they're saying the Secret Service didn't take take it as serious by uh, uh, the fact that there was an threat. armed white guy oh, at this yeah. Trump rally. Yeah. Just like they did at the Capitol. Mm. Yeah. They didn't take it as serious with these armed folks. 
And just like the fact that this state representative, state senator, I forgot where he's from, can sit there and, and talk about that there may be civil war mm -hmm. and, and, and they talk take, don't yeah. take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Now, you put the, put the shoe on the other foot. Yeah. Let that have been me talking about a civil war or let that have been mm -hmm. uh, uh, President Obama talking about a civil war. Man. Angelica just gave you the look of the dirt, the dirtiest look. He got the y'all. Here it is. I am surrounded. Look at this is the right. turn. They they dropping like flies. Right. They are right. but no. Even with this, I was gonna say about the um, not the agent, the secret agent or whatever. The CIA, the CIA, yeah, whoever right. was supposed to protect Trump, the secret Trump, service, the secret service, yeah. the head lady. She said that it was normal when I watched a uh, uh, interview or when she was being not prosecuted questions. Right. Grilled. Yes. They was grilling her and called yeah. her a lie and everything. Yeah. But she said that was normal for people to be suspect or look suspect in audience. So she said that was nothing out of the norm for that to happen. That's Not, but you know, but I'm that's what she said. I said the, whole, okay. the whole thing was weird. Mm -hmm. The fact that it looked like a something straight off of a Tubi movie. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that when all them gunshots are going off, the crowd ain't Didn't budging. Move, but They're it like was, okay with it. And it the wasn't, sound. Uh, it wasn't it, us sound, either. Like, I'm just saying, us yeah. is this. We hear one thing. We It would have been a stampede. It, it, was some, it, was some, it was some black folks in there and they were, they were just acting like little Trumpites. That's not, I was going to say what we called them, but we ain't going to say that on Right. So well, look, we'll be, we'll be when we come back, we're gonna talk relationships. You got you should have heard what Angelica was saying. Earlier. I'm gonna repeat it, don't worry. Up, man, don't by, worry, I'm gonna repeat it. relationships. We'll talk relationships. Don't go anywhere, hit that subscribe button. You we'll be right back. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Hey, grab a bag with a roll up, grab your cup and let pull up. They didn't want us round it first, but now they act like they know what. Hey, but they show up, yeah. We show out when we show up. I don't even do the lift of this might make me throw up. But we talked up, this the after party. Shit grabbing on my body. White girl got a bottle in the club. In that going knowledge. Talked up, been a wreck the party. We just brought out everybody. No, we got our class so far. We at the after hey, party. Hey y'all, it's Michael Kaya and it's the Antonio Parkinson Project I'm on. They have fun around here. They got chicken and everything. If you really want to get the word, know what's going on in your neighborhood, in your community, in your blackness, you need to tune in to the Antonio Parkinson Project. And ain't even in the projects. Okay, so tune in. We love you. Keep God first. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio get Parkinson. Kojak, Go to Kojak. Kojak, please. Look at him. Look at him. The things you, you listen to Parkinson, that's how you're going to be right. looking just like Kojak. Uh, damn it works. fool. <laughs> it works. It works. Uh, hey, look. Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. Hey man, that that whole countdown, Angelica. Oh, it was just now. Giving LeConte. Now, Nichelle, mm -hmm. I used to stick yeah. over you, baby. I had a laugh at that Nichelle. That countdown was Nichelle. giving LeConte all day. Oh, man. Who you like that? Man. <laughs> y'all give it up for my lovely, lovely co host, Angelica. Y'all crazy, y'all. The nigga, he's the spread. I don't get it. Hey, DJ Kojak, she came in angry, Angelica, today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. DJ Kojak, scratch it up she four times. Up. Scratch it up four times for angry, Angelica. Man. Whatever. Damn, <laughs> Angelica, did you hear that? Mm, yep, I heard it. Mm -hmm. You heard this? I heard it loud okay. and clear. Mm. Hey, look, so earlier, and I hate that we couldn't capture this right earlier, mm. you know, before we actually started recording, you know, I was talking about, I just meant, I just slightly mentioned that, you know, I don't chase them, I replace them. Right? Basically, you know, I'm, 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 you know, if, if I'm not, I'm, I'm one of those that, you know, if, if a person, if, if I'm in, or, or, or Wake me attempting up to be if, if I'm in a relationship or some type of relationship you know I and the person decides they're not going to call they don't want to call or they're they're upset about them I give them their space right I allow I them I space. allow them Kojak mm -hmm. to to you know get it all out of their system oh god right and and you know and and it doesn't mean I'm going anywhere or right. or dipping or anything oh, it just I'll be, means I'll be that, right here waiting for it you just means when you come that, back look, look going to do your thing you're gonna be coming you know back. going and get out get out how you feel and and you know you know we'll we'll talk when so, uh oh Angelica when you get right out your finish. feelings I'll be we'll, right we'll here waiting when you finish. that's yeah. what happened earlier so pretty you, much he's saying you're going to be back he going to let you do what you're going to do cuz you coming back cuz you just in your little feelings that's what he trying to say pretty much they coming back so uh, mm -hmm. uh, they tend to, but 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 oh, the thing Lord. is, oh Lord, make sure you make sure you clip that part. But the, but the thing is, is this man, you know, people what people don't understand about a cancer. You know, we're in cancer season still. Oh right? Jesus! Here's I'm what still... people have to understand mm -hmm. about a cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, one is, you know, we love our self time, 
right? Yeah. We love our time, you know, by ourselves uh-huh. and our, that that's time to turn in on yourself, right? Yeah. On ourselves. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes people take that as a, a, a slight against them personally. Mm-hmm. And that's not the case. That's just mm-hmm. not what it is. It's just, I want to be in my own space sometimes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I like. I like me time. I like to come talk to myself, have a good time, laugh, giggle. I like me time too. But how you just have to know somebody, be with somebody that is aware that you're like that and accept that you like that. Because if not, it's not going to work. Well, well, what I think what we were talking about earlier though is when they are trying to teach you a lesson. By, mm. Yeah, it was by, a tone. It was a tone. Yeah. See, the tone ain't the same. He ain't keeping the same energy. So now he want to take. When they, it was not the same tone. It's true. Somebody try to ghost you to try to. Yeah, so pretty much because I don't even know anybody. I don't know whatever, but I'm speaking of women. You, a a woman's perspective, she probably feels like you don't care. That's a normal person who may just look at a man not knowing you're cancer. You love yourself. You need me some me time. I need thirty six hours. I need thirty six. I need thirty six hours to love on myself. Okay, but a regular person that's a non cancer. Going in. Sometimes they feel like they're a woman. They feel like they're doing all the pursuing or whatever, and they're doing the reaching out. Sometimes you do have to step back and see. Okay, is it me? I got to do a check. Am I more into that person that they are into me? Yes, you're a cancer because you're more into yourself, apparently. Wow. That is absolutely not the case. Uh, look, you know, he ain't gonna put, look, look, I'm just joking, Parker. Okay, right. I'm going to start grilling him. He's going right. to all these you know, No, eggs, no, no. Eggs, you, know, eggs, you, know, eggs. you know, the, the, the thing <laughs> is, is this, is, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, and I may be weird in this manner, mm-hmm. uh, Angelica and DJ Kojak, and, and, yeah. and the fact that I'm more thankful for the experience with the person, mm-hmm. right? Oh, okay. And so, because oh, and so. because nothing is guaranteed, Did right? You just right. Mm-hmm. And, and so and so, I focus in on and on right. the appreciation of the time that our journeys have crossed paths. Right. You are you know, so be- full of crap. Because, are you serious? I'm dead ass serious. Mm-hmm. I'm dead ass serious because because. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. You know, nothing is guaranteed to be forever. It is. Right? It is absolutely not. Uh, right. You know, no. I don't care. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Okay, so if you know that, why would you not want to take more time with that person instead of just appreciating that little time when you can have more time to appreciate no, no. and value it? I, I, I appreciate the time that the universe gives us. And and so that 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 we are allowed on this earth. Kojak, yeah. now you you don't ever stand up and say now you say uh now. And now, Jellica wants no, an ally. Uh, uh, now yeah. no, cause you I want to say something else, but okay. Nichelle can't say nothing. She ain't gonna stand against. She ain't gonna say nothing smart anyways. But she'll you say can, Nichelle can say how she feels. You can't say wow. You are gonna appreciate hey, the time. I'm telling you, she couldn't today. You how you gonna say in the couldn't. same mouth? You appreciate the time. It's like okay, that's like my husband. If I appreciate the time, no. I, if I do have the time, I want as much. If I I want as much time as I can get. So if you don't feel that way, then you don't need to. You don't need to fool with the person. That's what I'm saying because you you just ain't met the right person. But, but that's that, I'm, even even if you say they're not the right person, I can't wait and, to meet this person. If, if you say they're these. not the right person, mm-hmm. and let's say the right person comes along mm-hmm. that you say is the right person. Mm. I'm still going to be me. That's yeah. I'm still going to want my time. And they're not going to they're not going to move away and try to prove a point because they know you just you. So you saying that that's how he'll know that he got the right one. Thank you. There won't be no that, they won't look at it like that. They won't, that a, they won't take it personal. It is, is a thing. But, it's, but, thank is, you Michelle. Thank you. Can we zoom the g- give me this can- Yes, there is a thing. Thank you. So many things we take personal. Oh, some people don't know how to <laughs> so separate. By one this year. My dad's a cancer too. <laughs> no. And he likes there are things he likes to do. He don't like fa- sometimes family. He wants to stay at the house by himself. Yes, indeed. I don't take it. Pr- that's yeah, how he yeah. is. Cheers Does he love me any less? But you yeah. have to understand. And l- sometimes we link with people who don't understand us. And then you in a battle. And what we talking about right now, which is a whole bunch of jumble jumble mess. Move on. She gonna be frustrated because she ain't the one, and you gonna be sitting here. Oh, I just love myself thirty six uh, hours you know, of the day. You know, you know I'm just when gonna, you can just. There's a no, person who really gonna be like, okay, boo. When you get done, I'll be right here, and you love on yourself, and I'm still gonna love you. And, 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 and they ain't gonna play no games. And, 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 you, you know, back. You just ain't yeah. met that person. 
You back? You done? You done? You done? Angelica, okay, but let me ask you this. Have and you, he's going to be, listen, yeah, mark my word. Today, done. he's going to be remarried. Yeah, mark oh, these. She, she is. You bet me money. The devil is a lie. <laughs> Michelle, y'all clip this right now. <laughs> right. I feel it in my body, you guys. Okay. Yeah. He's well, going to be remarried. You were doing good up until okay. that point. And, and, and we're going to clip this for the wedding, and I bet it. This is going to be clipped mm, on the mm, screen, mm. and Michelle's cracking up. He's going to be remarried. And the woman, when he meets the woman, he's gonna hear that voice in his head. Like he, it's gonna like a, it's gonna be like a light bulb goes like, dang, that's what she was talking about. Yeah, I, and I, hear, I will I bet that, you. I hear that voice now. It sound like Jason music. And I will bet you twenty five hundred dollars. You will bet me twenty five hundred dollars. That what? That you'll be remarried again. Yes. You um, yes twenty five. You ready? Twenty five hundred dollars. You ready? Yes. Uh huh. I'll uh-uh. give a max six years. Uh uh-uh. uh, six years. That's a long time. No, it's not. It, it ain't okay. gonna take that long. So, hey, hey, it's, hey, on, it's a shaking on this. This is on record. Y'all get this. this. I want this on twenty five hundred. And whoever this lady is, okay. Watch what I tell you. When I want my money, I don't want payments. That might be going into the next said segment. Six years. Yeah, I, that's. It's not gonna take that. So it ain't gonna take six. It's not gonna take six. It's not even gonna take six years. Watch what okay. he drank that drink. Kojak. He drank that drink real Kojak. hard. I'm gonna remember this. Kojak. He has an entire. Kojak, I'll wait six years in one day. Yep. Just, just get that wait, 2500. You're gonna forget. You're gonna be so gone in the mind. You're gonna forget we even Man. had this conversation. Oh, I Watch. can't wait to see that. I can't wait too, because I'm gonna sit there and look right at her face like, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, this you. That. Hey, watch. I heard that. Nichelle, hey. watch. Hey. Look, Kojak, you ain't never read the paper. The shell brought it here. Now you read the look, paper. Look, hey, 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 Kojak. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this, Angelica. On. Yes. Have you, or, 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 both of y'all, have Angelica? Have you ever used that 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 silent treatment to yeah oh, as a weapon to to um to to you as know get your get your yeah as a manipulation tool yeah. That, that, yeah. But that shit don't work for me. It's not, but see, it depends. Sometimes it's not a mi- manipulation. It's a, re- it's a, it's actually a indicator or it, it's a measurement because sometimes you can be so invested in somebody that they don't feel the same way about you. You get what I'm saying? So whoever it is or whoever, so if I did it, I could be like, okay, I'm doing, I'm noticing it's me doing all the, it's me doing all the reaching out. So let me just mm. let me just take it. Just but but it wasn't. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It's not you doing all the reaching out because that's not the scenario. I'm saying the scenario that. is mm. the scenario is mm. you decide to 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 cut off the calls and this that and other mm. so you can get a response. Oh no, I yeah. don't just know. Mm. Oh BS playing games. No BS. no no, I don't. If it's me, if I see, if I notice things are one sided, that's anything in any type of relationship. Sometimes you just have to understand. Yeah. You just have to make sure. That you're not more vested because you know. Have you remember the movie? Uh, he, he, you're into him, but he's not that much yeah. into you. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. women, we can. You. Yes, like I said, men are natural pursuers. Do we have different type of men now? Yes, they like to be pursued and sought out. I don't, I, know. I don't have to be pursued. The world. I'm not talking that. about you. Okay. I said men. See, okay. look. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. 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 DJ Kojak, you like men. to be pursued. Mm-mm. That yes, is sad. Thank you. I wasn't gonna say that, yeah. but the men yeah. are different now, and sometimes you're not supposed to be doing all that. So sometimes you gotta step back, like, okay, let me evaluate, let me see, because some I know somebody right now they feel like they do too much in the relationship, mm. and any man that love you, cause you're not going no hold, and I know you're not in love, whatever, whoever, yeah. they can't. The fact if you can go a whole day without make not knowing somebody, okay. They ain't the one. Like, it should, I need to make sure you made it to the house. Like, we, you, you all right, baby? You, you breathing? Or you, you just don't feel that way about the person. That's what a man... But, but I, I just disagree with that. I just, I just fundamentally you, disagree that... You want to know she's that, safe? Yeah, I mean, of course you want to know if a person is safe. How you right? going to do it if you don't talk to her? Right. Well, you can text, right? That's talking but, to him. But, you know, but that... but Communicate. But, but, but that, you know, because you're not... You know, bundled up or all bowed up in a corner together. Who said every bundled up and bowed up? Who said that? A person every yeah. single Michelle, day. Who said that bowed up and bowed up? That does not mean that you don't like this person who or care about that? this person. Who Am I right, DJ Kojak? Michelle, did I say that? She's not getting it. She's not getting it. Ew, y'all not getting it. Michelle, get on this. Get on this mic. I never. I don't even you like put being Michelle on four, huh? Listen, <laughs> I don't even. My husband. I don't like being under nobody like that. Like. I don't, well, I don't. Well, I would feel slighted then if you don't want to be up under me. No, at yeah. the time. Now, which yeah, one I'm is it? That's a cancer. Man. See, he's they crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm just joking. We I'm have joking. our separate. We have separate space. He have a whole man cave upstairs. He have a whole garage upstairs. I like to miss. You got a garage you. upstairs. A garage outside. Oh, okay. And, I'm like, hey, you been in there. You been in the garage, and he has a whole man cave upstairs. 
It's okay. I want to miss you. It's it's okay. I'm, could you could you be married and live in separate houses? Uh, that's the houses would have to be on different coasts. Mm. And you can do that. I could do that. What the? Damn. Damn. Hold on. No, 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 no. It has to be for we have to. No, they're they're both be our houses, but it's hand on business. Okay, baby, I'm on the west coast today. I'm gonna fly in. It has to be not just because I'm tired of you and I just want to go somewhere, but yes, for purpose. It's okay to miss somebody. It's okay. It's li- yeah. not not live. Could live. you do that in the show? Live in separate houses and be not married? live. It's a lot of people. Marriages last forever like mm-hmm. that. Do you get what I'm saying? Not live. Like let's say I'm having. I speak. I have a client in the West Coast. I have a house in California. Okay, well I have to be here for three weeks. I'm not going to pay for no hotel. It's our house. Okay, we have a main house. You see me? We fly in and out. I don't. I don't think that, see nothing wrong with that. Mm. Now, just to be doing it because and the outcome is not income, no. What about have, having two different bedrooms? You got your own room and he got his room. Okay, can I say, be transparent? Yeah. Look at Parkinson, really. He did his whole code, his whole signs and stuff. Let's see. Go ahead. <laughs> he ready? Yeah, all right, I'm going to hear this. My, I told you this. My <laughs> husband, we don't really sleep in the same bed every night. What? Oh, oh uh, look at uh, that John Parks. Uh, uh, oh, me. No, he wow. works. Look, yeah, he right. He excited. Jellica doesn't sleep in her own bed every night. So where does he sleep? I didn't sleep say her at? own bed. She sleeps look, in her own is, bed. Her where does he sleep at? Sleep no, look, he right. ready. That's gonna be the clip. Jellica sleeps in the bed, but just not her husband's. Click this. Hit this click to see why. No, look, <laughs> he works third shift. Duh, I sleep by myself five days out of a week. Wow. Think about that. That's a news flash. Hello, how parts? Well, I don't know when I tell you Mitch worked third shift all the time. I mean, that don't that wouldn't stop me from coming and climbing in that bed. When he gonna climb when in? Get, if I get gotta home. get, I remember, I remember. But my yeah, ex. when he's home two times, at, he only here. I can't go say one day when nobody come to hey, my house. Kojak. Yeah, Kojak. I remember yeah. my ex suggested that one time we were going through some you know mm. drama, and she said, "Well, I'm just gonna sleep in the guest room." I said, "Lies, you tell." Mm. I said, "Look." You gonna sleep your ass in this bed? Yeah. I'm gonna climb my mad ass in this bed. Oh, not and we you. We just be mad together. Not you who, does, who needs his time. Yeah, yeah. It's me. No, time. it ain't about time. But I'm you know, it's about you. it's about you know if when you to me when you're in a marriage. You yeah. should be able to work through everything. You're gonna be you're mad gonna today. Go mad. Yeah, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have have some days, but man. So now, so um, let me go backwards. Uh oh. Oh, we gonna try to fix it now. No, we do sleep in separate beds. But that's only because he doesn't, he's not at home. So when he comes home, he sleeps upstairs because it's during the day and I'll be home working or the baby may be home so he can sleep. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thoughtful. Yeah. Thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I do. I'll date it out. Dark cur- curtains. Nice new man. I want you to get your full rest. So, so what, your room look different than his? What do you mean it look different? All right, y'all. We'll be right back. We don't know Friday. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Neil, you are watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Stay tuned. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson, and you're watching the fastest growing visual podcast Woo! in the world. Yeah, man. We're working hard in here. Hey, look, it's a testament to how hard we're working in here. We're coming in here and we all, you know, Angelica Snotty and... and I rebuke that Snotty Kojak. spirit. Hey, 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 Kojak, she was the first one to be snotty. Well, she knew. Yeah, she, she, she kicked the pot out. And, and right. Really? She gave it to all of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, okay, right. Okay, Kojak, I got you. And, and of course, you know, she claimed she went to the doctor and the doctor said she I wasn't did. contagious. Yeah. But she claimed she wasn't sick. So, you know, but what you going to the doctor for? But we already had that. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it up for my lovely co-host who's not snotty today. I'm not. Angelica I ain't Jelly trying Jelly to be Woods snotty. But for y'all, I'm gambling. I'm taking a risk to be snotty to do this podcast and be Ronnie snotty. I'm going to call y'all snotty fools. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kojak, she had. Kojak, she just scratch it. it up two times. Kojak, it. just two times. <laughs> I'm, telling I'm telling you, Kojak, because she has been fired. I'm sorry, shots y'all. You mad at me? I ain't mad at you, oh, man. Okay. I'm, I'm Kojak, used to it at this point. She been Kojak. cutting. She been she, cutting she been off. Cutting people at the <laughs> ankles. That's what's crazy. Right. At the ankles. I'm really? telling you, man. <laughs> so, so listen, man. Um, you know, before we get into this other story, I do want to 
uh, uh, briefly touch on DJ Kojak. You had a great event this weekend, man. I did. I, I did. It. You know, I think that drain, that drain. That's why I'm halfway drained now. Yeah. But you man, shout out to everybody that came out to the grand opening. It was a beautiful thing, man. I saw a lot of family, friends, and a lot of old colleagues in the music business, man. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. let me let me say what the opening was because he showed it and said, "Oh I yeah, know. yeah." I forgot. Y'all yeah. don't know me like that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to everyone that came out to DJ Kojak's grand opening of the Hip Hop Lounge and yes. Event yes. Center. Yes, 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 yes. Right, located right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And so if you get a chance, if you're in the city or, or you, you know, you're visiting, make sure you want to stop by there, man. It's a great venue. You know, the food is good. The wings are fine. What's the address? The, the drinks are worth. 5721 Raleigh LaGrange. And what's yep. the hours? Man, oh. right now we're doing events and we, uh, if you want to rent the facility, just tap in. So no hours, there just event, just, event just, just events right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think we, we're going to start doing... Uh, I'm a piano and yes. and and yeah, I'm um, ready for that. I'm ready. Afro looking Beach night, right? I'm, I'm looking forward yeah. for that. I'm ready. Yeah. You know what's interesting though? Um, you know, I attended and it was it was a great opening. You know, um, and and I got a chance. To, I really understood uh, DJ Kojak's vision mm. for you know the hip hop lounge and event center, and he had um, individuals in there. That were joking. He had a fashion show going on in there. Okay, he Kojak, had, cut up. He had a DJ Easy, competition. Yeah. And uh, man, shout out to DJ Flame. Man, DJ man. Flame flamed man. the yeah. competition. Did anybody go he live or anything? I just seen a little. Yeah, man. We, got, we, got, we, got, we got footage. We man. Something okay, good, 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 good. DJ Flame man. is an amazing, yeah. real DJ. Yeah, okay. he did his thing. Oh my God. Did you have any women he, DJ? You know what? It was one that was hosting, though, right? When she did, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Space Age hosting, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And, and then once she saw what the prize was, she was like, ah, she wish she did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, shout out to Elise Neal. Elise yeah. Neal was in yes. the building. Yes. Al Capone yes. was in the building. Fraser Boy, yeah. you know, and uh, Nardo. Nasty Nardo. Yeah. That's somebody you know, said yeah. in the comments. Is that Fraser Boy? Like yeah. they was surprised. Like, Fraser Boy yeah, said Elise? he's coming on the show too. Okay, yeah. Yeah. turn yeah. up then. He gonna bring his Oscar. Is that because of Kojak? He gonna bring his. I'm being shady. Oh, you are being shady. shady. You know, Kojak might have asked him. I asked him too. I asked yeah, him a I'll couple. couple okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. But I'm he, done. but he is coming on. That's gonna be a good interview though when we get Frazier yeah. on. And I talked to Pound Cake today too. Oh yeah. Oh, Pound. did you? Yeah, Pound Kizzle. Do you tell yeah. who? Yeah. We, we, okay, we can't say. Yeah, that. yeah. I told, I told Pound Cake. I, I, you know, I sent him a text. I said, "When you coming on the show?" His response was. Well, good afternoon to you too, State Representative Antonio Parker. I'm like, hey. <laughs> oh, so, so he wanted he wanted the particulars. What do we call it, uh, Nichelle? The Logistics? you know the pleasantries. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Nichelle is not a pleasantries person. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. Yeah. Look. So when I'm talking to Nichelle, uh -oh. I'm on the phone with Nichelle. Uh -oh. You know, man. it's um okay. Yeah. So Nichelle, it's okay. Nichelle said, okay, we got to do this, this, that, another. Okay, Nichelle. Okay, cool. Got it. Okay. So uh, I talk click. Uh, man, go, go. <laughs> I'm blame you guys go. hang up on him. Look, look, hang up. One time, one time I sent her a text message said, "Okay, bye." Right? <laughs> and look, and now I, I just I. Now what do I say? I'm hanging up on you. Bye. Right. She and and Angelica's always trying to be the first one to say that. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. I'm hanging up on you. She want to be the first. That's yeah. what Gail does too. Gail Carson. Do she? Oh, yeah. Lawrence. <laughs> uh, uh, you ain't talking about shit. I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. She always want to be the first one to say that. Oh, Shout out Lord. to Gail Carson. Another event Man. that took place. You guys, this, we sponsored this weekend, mm -hmm. Memphis Urban League. Um, um, uh, Man who cooked. Man who cooked. And it was a success now, too. Now who could really cook though? I know there was a winner. Yeah, yeah, there was. Who who would you say was the best cook? So there was this Hispanic cat named Marco. Yeah, he made these into. Lotters, that was some fire. They were fire. Man. Why y'all didn't bring me one? Yeah, it was yeah. fire. They was yeah. spicy. No, somebody they, gave, brought, somebody brought us something. Now it had me yeah, down. They brought you so, some Mexican, didn't they? Had yeah, you brought the, you some Taco so, Bell? So yeah, at least y'all could deal with saying knock, knock, knock. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. know if you want to mix that Taco Bell and the food that was. Over I was there, not man. trying to drop their name man, on listen, there. I ain't gonna front, man. I <laughs> paid for it. Look, part of that. Did you pay for it, Coach? I knew I was gonna yeah, pay for. That's why. Yeah, paid for. Oh, that's how you get everybody sick, though. I mean, I was just you know purging. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Let me yeah. say it like that. There you go. Yeah, there was a great. I purge. said it was free detox. I said, don't feel yeah, bad. Nah, it's it, free it detox, detox. man. I dropped, dropped the pound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. appreciate it. my stomach a little fla a flatter. I got mm -hmm. clamped out. It wasn't that. I just I don't eat that kind of food. So when y'all said eating Popeyes today, I said, oh no, that's okay. I'm yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but some of the some of the pastors came out and they 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 were yeah. cooking and it, it was it was good Who though. Was the best shout pastor? out shout out to uh um Brown. Yeah, Pastor Brown. Yeah, he he did this um the peach cobbler. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fire. Cobbler, Peach cobbler right. was fire. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. But again, shout out to Gail Jones Carson. Yeah, um, she did lead, a thing. For, Boss yeah. lady. Yeah. Yeah. Coordinated. Yeah, that's my baby mama, y'all. Yeah. Uh -oh. But yeah, mm. so... So look, uh, you know, on a sadder note, on a sadder note, a couple of different sad we're notes, gonna, right? Down yeah. Real yeah, I'm telling you, man. Um, you know, you, 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 the story about Sonya Massey. Yes. Mm -mm. You know, uh, she was um, um, well, the the, the 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 officer is charged with what's he charged with? Second degree murder or yeah, murder? Murder. Yeah, uh, murder. of Sonya Massey, and and she she actually called. What Angelica walk us through the story? It wasn't me walking through the oh, story. Was she called for help yeah. to uh, notify yeah. somebody there or some kind of weird behavior or something like that. Yeah, a prowler or something. A prowler, yeah, prowler. yes. Yeah. And she was boiling some water. Was yeah. she boiling some water? Yes, I don't know what what did she say to the officer said something to her that made her say, "I rebuke you in the name of Jesus." The, Oh yeah, turn the pot right. off because it's gonna turn uh, catch fire. They told her to go to the pot. Yeah, turn so it they off. told her. Yep, the officer to did. go to the pot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's part we missed. Okay, yeah. Okay, you get some range, you cold jack. Look, right. Co yeah, yeah, you know, on. and and you know, um, if you get a chance to watch the video, we'll, okay, we'll, here's the video. Oh, sorry. stuff then she was the only one where's he going no she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water yeah i'm good it's crazy all right, so so you know, as you can see in the video, yeah, you know the um, you know the officer was a bit aggressive, mm -hmm. right? And and you know and, and you know of course you know it's easy for us to play armchair quarterback, you mm -hmm. know, when <laughs> in these situations, yeah. right? You know, um, but you know it just seemed like there's so many ways, so many ways that that could have been prevented, right? Yep. You know, simply backing up, simply tasing, mm -hmm. simply um, you know de-escalating, um, you know. Uh, but but to have weapons drawn and and I just I'm trying to understand and I don't know I can't really tell in the video if she looked like she was threatening them with the water I didn't see it mm -hmm. right but I can't I don't understand how you know her saying I rebuke you in the name of Jesus becomes a threat unless right. them demons are just 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 yes. you know just just I don't know bold you know emboldened <laughs> after she said that. You know, but the thing is, all the places a shot to the head, you could have shot her in the leg, the hand. Shot in the air. And you, you're good. You got a good. You 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 a good shooter. And you, you, you can shot her anywhere that would have stopped the wa the water from being thrown on you. If or you could just that. simply backed away. Yeah, yeah. I left. You know, yeah, yeah. These, yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't have to leave, but just back away <laughs> to where the water can't reach you. You know, he didn't wait till the water get thrown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, he could have dodged it. He could have dodged the water or something. Anything. Yeah, but yeah. that's um. That's terrible, you know, it's and bad. heartbreaking. You know, the fact that we're still in, you know, it's 2024, you know, all the protests and all the George Floyd protests and all yeah. of this stuff. And, mm. and, you know, we're still dealing with unarmed, you know, black people in America being killed uh, by the police. And are, is he going to get full prosecution for it? That's the <laughs> biggest thing. Is he actually going to serve time for what he did? Well, That's you know, he, he, he does deserve the right to go before a jury of his peers and, Everybody and you know, mm -hmm. and, and the trial, you know, so that, you know, because again, still in our country, we hope in, in a lot of cases that, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. But however, in, in a lot of these cases too, you know, uh, you'll have uh, people in, in, you know, in the country that will rush to, to their defense fund, yeah. raise them millions you know, of dollars. It's know, coming. And, and we know that in, in America, you know, you can buy justice. 
Yeah. Mm, I guess uh, with the exception of Trump. Well, you look at Trump, you look at Trump and say, look at Trump, he's a prime example. So he mm. he is felon and he running for president. So how how I mean, how can we take the judicial system serious? Right. I'm yeah. just saying. And, and and in another story, you know, here in Tennessee, so you know, bad. you had twelve year old twelve year old young lady. Who, who's who's covering that story? Is that you, Kojak, or you, Angela? It's me, twelve years old. Right. It's actually right outside of Memphis. I forgot what the little town is called. Who Humboldt, Tennessee. Oh, it was in Humboldt. Humboldt, Tennessee. Humboldt. Oh, man. Yeah. And apparently... That's the right co- up 64. Yeah, right off 64. Wow. And the the cousin was visiting from Chicago. The eight-year-old cousin. Yes. No, the 12-year-old. Wasn't the 12-year-old? Oh, the 12-year-old yeah, girl. The 12-year-old is from, from okay. Chicago. She's from Chicago. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. And apparently, the, the disagreement or whatever was over a cell phone. Okay. I don't know if the cousin had the cell phone, whatever. So, so they the kids were in the bedroom, supposed to be sleeping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, supposed to be sleep together, just like your cousins. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't think nothing yeah, of it is a cell over. phone, even if you're getting arguments with your cousin or whatever you yeah. to smother. So what happened? She smothered the eight, smothered? the twelve year old cousin from Chicago, allegedly smothered the eight year old. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Cousins. Mm. Now, when I heard about it, I was like, okay, well, maybe she doesn't know the significance of the, what she did. And some people was like, yeah, she did. Or I think, not that they're not coming back. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, there's you're going to go to jail for, but possibly for the rest of your life. She probably won't, though. And this person is not coming back and over a phone. But according to the footage, it looks like she tried to, like, she knew she did something wrong. And she was trying to cover it up. Wow, and it just so happened that the cameras had yep. cameras in the room. They had the grandma had cameras in the room. Did you they, see the footage? Did they show the footage? I don't think they showed the footage. They showed the footage. They just no, talk about too, what, what was seen. Yeah, it's too, yeah. Ju- when it's juveniles, they only have certain. I thought they may blur it out or something. I don't know. I think that would just be what. Yeah, I don't know. Right. I don't think I want to watch okay, it, well, but she tried here's the, to. Here's the video right here. Okay, we're back. Yep, yeah. and she tried, like, she knew, because she tried to act like she moved her and put her, like, under the covers like she was asleep and went to sleep. Mm. Like, I would My be scared. Goodness. I wouldn't even be able to sleep. You know, I, I'll be on pins and needles sitting up, sh- crapping bricks. Yeah, I think I'm going to get in trouble, but she she went to sleep, didn't tell nobody, or at least tried to say, I made a mistake, wake her up, yeah. you know? And then she So maybe gone. she thought she was going to wake up. Maybe she thought she they, was just They sleep. said that yeah, until... Was- how she moved the body to make it look like she was asleep. Wow. You get what I'm saying? To so she knew some to make it look like she was asleep. She mm. knew that she was mm. dead. If that makes sense. So it's sad. It's That's just, incredibly it's sad. sad. It is. People always say it's not the it's not the parents you gotta look out for. Sometimes it's the kids you gotta look well, out for. Well, the kids get it from somewhere though. Exactly. Yeah, some people kids... say she should never had the cell phone. It's too young. I don't know what they gotta do or anything, but it's just. Mm. Sad. Twelve yeah. years old. She's gonna be charged as an adult. So they're probably, you know, she'll go to je- prison if convicted. She can go to prison till she's eighteen, then transfer to an adult facility, or is it sixteen year? I'm not sure. You know, it's interesting because I'm sure they're gonna send that that baby. You know, both of them were babies. You know, Sad. through a psychological, you know, uh, evaluation. Yeah. You know, and there could be some things that's going on. Yeah. And I'm not making excuses for no. Them, you know, because there are grieving parents. Out there, one parent whose child is never, ever yep, coming back. Another never. parent who's standing to lose their child for the rest of their life at the age of 12. And some family turmoil on and, both and, sides and, behind and, right. their family. And he's a family member. Yes, right. they're so not strangers. It's a do- oh, my God. Yeah, can you imagine the dynamics of that? Um, yeah, because ba- <laughs> go get your mama. You want to play with pillows? We're going to play with pillows. That's how Ooh, I feel about wait. mine. God forgive you know, but me. That, that, but that, wouldn't, gonna, but that, would, that wouldn't be helpful. Though, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be. I'm a mom. You know, I'll yeah. go sit behind mine. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yeah, I'll, yeah. I will go but sit. But you know, but I tell you, you know, when you when you think about, you know, you know these parents and, and losing babies at that age, you know, who didn't even yes. get a shot at life. It makes me sad. Right. You know, eight years old, they're still hugging your leg, man. They, right. Okay, don't talk yeah. about it on my yeah. You made me sad. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's tough, man. That's, yes. that's a tough. One. Yeah. You know, our, our hearts go out to, you know, to the parent that lost her baby, uh, her eight-year-old baby. Our hearts go out yes. to, the, to the, those parents and family members, you know, of the 12-year-old child because that's one. That is just hard to wrap your arms around. And it's and just a thought because you automatically look to the parents, right? And sometimes you can be a parent, you can do everything right, and your child just still make poor decisions. 
Yeah. You can. So we we yeah. all that's an automatic thing. Like, oh, what kind of parent did they have? They could she could have been a they could have stand up parents, both parents in the home, not having no kind of aces. Yeah, yeah. listen, and still just make poor decisions based off something they seen somewhere. You just don't know. We but, automatically point sometimes. We do. Yeah. But but you know, yeah. but but that and I know we got a minute left, but that somewhere in a lot of most of these cases, I'm, I would mm-hmm. assume, somewhere that the child was left unprotected. Yeah. And when I say unprotected, yeah. either she's seen this before yeah. and seen that this is how you do this. Because what child would know to do this mm. unless they've seen it before? Too right? much phone. Right. It could be too much phone it time. It could be too much phone it time. Be, it yeah. could be too much internet. Yep. Watching, yeah. watching, TikTok. you know, snapped with the parents. And walking, and, running around with right. the uncle. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Let me get the parents. Yeah. <laughs> you saying. know, and, and that's, but it's, but it's incredibly sad. You're and, watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Yeah. So look, let's you know um, mm-hmm. on on a on on a much lighter note. Mm-hmm. On a much lighter note, you know, um, uh, you know, we got we got uh, multiple shows coming up. You know, yes. here mm-hmm. in, in the next few weeks, mm-hmm. you know, we're gonna be rapid firing shows. Yes. You know, getting them in the can mm-hmm. so that because you know because some of us are gonna be in and out of town in the month of August. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And so, um, you know, we we want to thank. Let's do this. Let's let's thank. Our fans and supporters, yes, man, for being you faithful, guys. y'all, yes. and looking for us. Yes, indeed. Tapping yeah. in, tapping in, and and you know, and and making us the fastest growing visual podcast in the Memphis market. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I do want, also want to thank our sponsors too, the official voter guide, mm-hmm. right? So you know, early voting is still happening right now. Yes, you know, it's I right over my shoulder. Vote. You know, mm-hmm. make sure that you you go to the official voter guide Download your official voter guide. You know, take it in the booth with you. We got a few more days left of early voting. I'm Angelica, going. I'm have going. you voted yet? No, I'm going to go. DJ Kojak, have I you voted yet? You ain't voted. I haven't went yet. I probably yeah. go by Friday. Yeah. But you know what somebody told me? I was Vicky was talking about that. She's like, no, I don't want to go early. I like the rush. Some people like the what? The the, line? Know, some I, people I, like, I like the, the rush. An, they like, like the the, the like motion. Yeah, they like yeah. the mo the getting out, getting in line. People, some people like that. Yeah. So as long as you do it, that's all that matters. Yeah, so make yeah. an excuse for DJ it. DJ Kojak, you wouldn't vote yet. No, look at his face. Look at you looking. Wow. Of course. Did you? I'm going tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, you really going tomorrow, work, Kojak? Really? I really thought you did. I scheduled. Right. I scheduled for for Wednesday. And look, I want I want to give a shout out to uh, my assistant Michelle Smith, who's also Ooh. you know producing and directing yeah. today. Yeah, she's like the I'm a stealer. <laughs> Man, hey, listen, I'm a listen, I'm a listen she is getting a crash education mm-hmm. and not just uh, election and early voting politics and operations, but she's running some shit. And I got to give a shout out to her. Her growth and is dealing incredible. with cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up to Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Dealing yeah. with yeah. a crazy cancer. One on one crash right. course. One thing for certain, though, two things oh, for sure. Mm-mm. When you lead this crazy ass cancer, you're gonna be a beast when you come up out. Beast. Of this you ain't got no choice. You gotta learn how to fight for your yeah, life. That's right, <laughs> right, right, right. That's right. That's right. But look, oh, hey, God. you've been watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Make sure you yes. hit that subscribe button, hit the share button. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. Tune in. Catch us on the next episode. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Powered by Black Market Strategies.